Okay, so I want to share a trick that I figured out for torquing <clears throat> bolts that are really hard to get to in a car. Um, and so if you have a normal torque wrench with a socket on it, um, oftentimes you don't have enough clearance to be able to get it into the spot where you need to get it. So instead of uh, just sticking in a wrench and torquing it however you think is right, um, you can take this wrench, um, smaller, more narrow wrench that can fit into the spot you need to get. This is a ratcheting, so uh, ra ratcheting uh, combination wrench, but you don't need a ratcheting wrench. Um, you attach that to the bolt that you're having trouble torquing. And then here's, the, here's a little adapter that I figured out how to make. It's very simple. All it is is it's a bolt on one side and a corresponding nut on the other and then a washer in between. And if you put that on one end of your combo wrench and then attach the other end to your socket, now all of a sudden I can get this end of the wrench in to my hard to reach bolt and I can torque here and I'm able to still get the torque correct for the, um, for the bolt. So uh, keys in doing that, number one, you have to do a calculation to figure out how much you're increasing the lever arm because as you increase the lever arm you're going to be increasing the amount of torque you can deliver so you have to decrease the amount of torque you're putting in uh, as the setting on your torque wrench in order to get it right in this case the the, uh, the combination wrench I have is six inches long and to the middle of the handle of my torque wrench is eight inches so I have a total lever arm now of 14 inches where I used to have just the torque wrench, which is only 8 inches. So I have to decrease to 8 fourteenths the torque that I would normally put in. So if I normally, for this bolt uh, that I did this setup for, I had to do 400 inch pounds. Um, calculating 8 fourteenths of that comes out to about 230 inch pounds. So I only had to set my wrench at 230 in order to deliver 400 at the end of this other uh, wrench. The key there also in, in actually torquing it then is to keep the two of them in perfect line with one another as you're torquing. You don't want the ratcheting uh, socket to, to get out of line and then start torquing with a bent arm. You've got to keep the two of them perfectly lined up and that's why it helps to have a ratcheting combo wrench at the other end because then you can ratchet that part of it and be able to turn over the bolt like that, um, keeping the lever arm totally straight. So, hope you found that trick helpful. This cost me about a dollar um, stainless steel bolt at Lowe's, and it helped make uh, torquing a really difficult to reach bolt really, really easy. Didn't have to buy any expensive parts or, or adapters or anything. You know, for your home mechanic, uh, nut and a bolt and a washer, and you're good to go. Hope you like that.